Hey you guys, welcome to Sunday Chat. Um, it's been one week since I have filmed and um, I was supposed to be doing every other Sunday or every Sunday and uh, pretty much it's pretty hard to upload. Um, I need to start uploading um, ahead of time so then I can just start posting on Sundays like every other YouTuber but I haven't had the time. But um, here I am back again and uh, stay tuned. Um, I will be uploading this Sunday. I will try to keep um, on tack with my Sunday chats. Um, pretty much I received an email that asked me how am I doing with juggling with three kids and if it's different. I even got asked that from a good friend when I was on the phone with her the other day. Um, is it different with three kids vice versa of two? Yes it is. Um, I did not know I was so used to my two older sons, five and three years old, and I didn't even notice the difference until, you know, my little newborn came home. I was like, wow, juggling three. Um, my husband was off of work for two weeks, and so he was able to help me out. But uh, when he went back to work, that's when I was like, OMG, um, okay, how do I juggle? Um, my advice for parents that do have more than one kid and they're young and you have a newborn is, you know, once that little newborn goes to sleep, you know, take care of your other children that are bigger, you know, with feeding them, tending to their needs that they need juice, milk, water, um, fixing them food, um, getting them dressed or bath time or reading to them, um, TV time. Um, in my home, we have limit on TV. We don't watch TV all day. Um, we do activities together and stuff like that. Um, just time for your other children. Um, I do nap time with my other kids. Um, my other, my oldest son, he's in school, so sometimes he'll take a nap if he's tired of coming home from school, and sometimes he will not. So he's able to go down to bedtime at eight o'clock. Um, and my youngest one, three-year-old, he does take naps. But some days I'd be nice and you know I let him stay up, and then he'll go on to sleep too with my other one. And um, yeah, so it's just juggling, you know. My way is just wait until that little new, nice little newborn go to sleep, and then you tend to the other children. Once a newborn wakes up, you know, um, try you can try to juggle like uh, be with your newborn if he's fed and and everything's good. You know, have him lay down in a bassinet or on a blanket or anywhere that is safe and secure, or in a swing. I put my baby in a swing or somewhere safe to lay down, and then I still tend to my other children, or we all have a movie time or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, my husband does help out on his days off or on the mornings and weekends. Alhamdulillah, he'll take them to the park or whatsoever like that or do activity with them. So that's really pretty much my way of juggling. Um, but yeah, it does feel different. You know, I guess I got so used to just having two kids and now I'm like, wow, I have three. Um, my other thing is... Um, a couple people were saying like, oh, you know, babies can tend to be spoiled, so make sure you leave them, um, you put them down and don't hold them too much and stuff like that. So that's why I um, posted that on Facebook. And I really love the feedback from Facebook because, you know, it is true, you know, if you read books or other things, newborns are not spoiled, you know. I, I Maybe if they're six or seven months old, maybe they can tend to get spoiled, uh, picking them up too much, and they're, they, they will get used to like, okay, you know. Um, I like that comforting and then you can't put them down. You have to hold them all day. Yeah Or if they're one years old and you're picking them up But I think when they're like the first two months old is like it's actually really healthy to you know uh, Have your newborn on your chest or have them skin to ten skin to skin uh, attachment and etc and um, So yeah with my son. He's a little colicky a um, little stomach problem, you know, um I am breastfeeding and formula because I think like the first three weeks I was straight breastfeeding and now I'm not producing too much milk so I'm doing a uh, majority of my breastfeeding um, at night and sometimes during the day so then I do um, the times I'm not able to I do do formula. With my first son I actually breastfed four months and a half um, the without no formula just straight breastfeed and with my second son it was straight two months and um, so, and then after that, I had to do formula. So I think um, with this one, I, I'm struggling a lot more. I am eating and drinking, but I do not know why I'm not um, producing um, as much milk as I was in the beginning. So, you know, either way it goes, alhamdulillah. Um, I do recommend, like, um, 
if, if your baby can't handle um, milk based, then you know, do Infamil or Simlac Advanced. Um, my son cannot um, handle the milk based, so we were using Gentilise because Gentilise is more gentle on the stomach and it's a very good formula if you decide to form a fleet your baby. And um, right now I'm gonna try ProSobi because it's um, not milk based because I'm starting to see that he is colicky because of the milk based. So I am gonna try ProSobi. So I started him on that. Um, gonna start him on that later on today. Right now he's still using Gentleys. And um, supposedly that is gonna be the soy uh, uh, milk instead of the actual milk base. So it's a soy type milk into the um, formula so it's called uh, pro soapy so those are some you know um, recommendations on formula when you want to start formula feed um, um, there are a lot of babies being born this year alhamdulillah and I just want to um, you know postpartum you know everyone deals with it differently I went into deep depression with my first son really bad and I didn't know I was depressed and then with my second son, it was only for three months, but alhamdulillah, you know, I got out of it pretty quickly because me and my husband knew the signs and we were able to get out. Um, with this one, I have not been affected with depression, alhamdulillah, because, you know, um, we switch off and I'm able to take naps during the day. Um, he helps me out so much and I'm able, i actually been going to halakas, um, gatherings with um, Muslim sisters, been um, reading Quran and, um, doing those sort of things. I take breaks. I've been going to the store and going to the mall and I just leave like a good hour or whatsoever like that and come back home. Just anything to take a little break. Um, for moms out there, it's good to take a break. If you're, you know, just barely had a baby, ask for help. Ask for a family member or a good friend that can't stay with you during the day and um, help is good because you're able to rest and then you won't be like so overwhelmed or anxious or any of that sort. Um, Babies, I was going to talk about um, with this uh, flyer that I got, babies cry for many reasons, not just because they are hungry. Crying is your baby's way of talking to you. Your babies cry to tell you how they feel. So just some helpful tips. Um, before your baby starts crying, they tend to turn away or they make that mouth side, ah. Um, they stretch out their fingers and their arms. Um, they tighten up muscles and body in their face and then you know that they are about to cry before they do that hold your baby close to you chest to chest um, watch your baby for signs of what he needs he, you know it could be a dirty diaper or um, hungry and if it's not those then he just wants to be held by his mom or dad softly speak the same words or sing the same song over and over to him it would put him to sleep or it would just calm your baby down rock or sway or bounce your baby very gently never shake your baby if, you, um, if you're very depressed and you're at home for those moms that feel like they're so overwhelmed and they're just like, oh, I want that baby to be quiet, you know, that is the reason why it's very important to have a family member or a friend that is a helpful throughout so you don't have to feel those things towards your baby. And then seek help from your doctor also if, it, if your depression does, you know, go more intense. Um, massage his back and arms and legs gently and that's a good way um, to calm down your baby. Um, newborns, they sleep most of the time. With my son, he usually more sleeps during the day. He is more woke at night. He, he can wake up from every hour and want to eat to every two hours. Um, it all depends. Every night is different. So for me, sometimes I just go ahead and stay up at night. I take good naps during the day and I stay up at night time between the hours of from 10 to 5 in the morning. Um, I have my baby next to me on the couch. Um, his bundles made up and you know I watch YouTube I watch from Quranic um, lectures alhamdulillah to my um, I watch family vloggers reality shows and um, right now that's what I'm into um, it's nice to see like other families on YouTube with um, positiveness and goofiness and stuff like that it just makes everything okay for me I love it and then um, love lectures and speeches and anything that's encouraging if you just watch things that are encouraging and everything in that sort you will be less likely to get into depression try to stay as positive as much as possible and refrain from the drama from anyone having drama or any negativity anything you know try to refrain from it so you're not going into that depression
Um, yeah, they wake up three to four times during the night or even during the day. So be prepared. Congratulations to all those moms that are having babies in 2015. You know, I it's, it's a lot of babies being born this year. People that I know, alhamdulillah, is very a blessing because it's like, wow, my baby Zahid has uh, two cousins and two friends. No, three friends. Yeah. Two cousins and three friends that had a, having babies this year. And it's really nice to know that. And um, they're all here in Orange County. And it's really nice to know that my son can have playmates that are the same age as him. So that is amazing. Yeah, two family members and three friends. It's amazing. Alhamdulillah. Um, be grateful. Make today a beautiful day. And because it is your choice of your attitude going out the door. Stay tuned to my next Sunday chat. And um, if you would like um, questions answered or anything, email me or Facebook me or inbox me on my Instagram. And I'll have that information below this video. All right, you guys. Stay tuned. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>